Happy Thursday, green country soaking rains, no doubt for us over the last 24 hours through our Wednesday. Most spots got at least an inch of rain. Parts of uh, southeastern and far eastern Oklahoma, an inch and a half, nearly three inches of rain, especially back down towards McAllister, Salsaw, Stigler, those folks near three inches. It was a little corridor from near Tulsa to the northeast along I-44 that had some of the lightest totals of about half an inch to an inch. Some spots around Tulsa picked up a little bit more than that. Overall, though, a good drink of water and good to see some higher totals to the north and west of Tulsa, where the drought has been pretty tough the last several months, and they've missed out a lot of the heavier rain amounts uh, from Pawnee, Pawhuska to Bartlesville, and one half to two inches of rain. Definitely good to see that. Of course, that won't end the drought, but it's definitely helpful, especially in this dry period of the year. Uh, we'll take any rain that we can get in the dry winter season. Now the attention turns to much colder air surging in. It's going to start feeling like winter by the end of today and for the next several days. We've been holding in the 50s so far. We'll nudge into the upper 50s uh, through the lunchtime hour and then falling after that. Temperatures already falling if you're west of Tulsa and here in Tulsa. Notice where we go from the lunchtime hour to to late afternoon from the upper 50s into the mid 40s by 3 to 4 o'clock and by 5 to 6 o'clock we'll be falling to near 40 or maybe even the upper 30s, especially near west of Tulsa. And of course you tack on the wind, it'll feel chillier than that. And then we'll keep free falling overnight by Friday morning. We'll be back in the upper 20s. Now again, that's far from unusual for this time of year, but it's certainly a lot colder than the last few mornings have been. So that'll be a little bit of a shock to the system, especially when we tack on still some gusty winds Friday morning. That means wind chills very easily may be in the teens Friday morning. So back to winter pretty abruptly for us here behind this cold front later today. Those wind gusts will slowly subside a little bit by late Thursday and into Friday, but still gusting uh, even 10 to 15 miles an hour tomorrow morning. So they'll slowly drop down after those strong gusts today, but still not going completely calm into Friday and our Friday afternoon much colder than most afternoons were this uh, the, for most of this week up to this point as we'll only see upper 30s to low 40s on Friday. Not a whole lot of precipitation for the next few days. We do have another system that's going to be off to our west on Saturday, but it looks dry here in green country outside of a few flurries. But look at these highs really bottom off again. We're uh, dropping from the 50s into the 40s today, and then we're just not going to warm up very much the next several days. Low 40s Friday, upper 30s Saturday, 40s again Sunday, and then a chance for some light rain Sunday night into New Year's Eve Monday. An even stronger cold front on the way after that. Looks like we may get a taste of some Arctic air by Tuesday. That's New Year's Day starting off 2019 on a frigid note here in green country. So buckle up, folks. Winter is returning.